I'm going to talk about another dream. So-called dream. <laughs> now, uh, I might just talk about this and that's it. Make this kind of quick. I might turn this into another video. We'll see. But um, as far as I know at, at this moment, it is just... This video is just about this... Well, a few dreams. So, this is connected to the Collapse of Timeline video, because I talk about a few other dreams there too, so-called dreams, <laughs> and uh, also tied to the Hybrid video, and I'd say the Reptilian one, and the, to an extent now, um, so kind of the Plastic video, but for the most part the Hybrid, the Collapsing Timeline, and the Hybrid one. Now, keep in mind we're in, like I've been saying, famine, famine season this time. So, with the whole spiritual starvation and people kind of just being empty in the sense of just kind of being a walk-in and all that other type of shit. Uh, just kind of keep that in mind. So... In this, so there's a, I have, I have a lot of, you know, so-called dream, I dream a lot, but it's, um, I'm not going to mention all of them, obviously, because it's kind of just unimportant, but I'll mention like three that I just had last night, this morning, last night, whatever, but, the first one, basically, I uh, was, with like a family member went to go get food or something like that i didn't want to want to really eat because i didn't really feel like i needed to eat especially because it was like a dream too i'm like i don't really think it's a dream <laughs> um but yeah i didn't really feel like i wanted to eat though and um so he got his food and then he went and did something else then um i was with that family member's friend and that person came late and then he wanted to eat and I almost actually ate this time for whatever reason it felt like I was kind of like entranced into doing it if that makes sense peer pressured but not like actual peer pressure kind of like entranced into doing it and then I kind of realized what was going on halfway through and then I was like um in the middle of like ordering or whatever and I was like no I still don't want to eat uh because I felt like it represented something else it was still like you know like uh, plant-based food all that type of stuff but I just did not want it and um well, it wasn't even like the healthy, it was vegan, it wasn't really the healthiest stuff, but it was just, I just felt like I did not need it or want it. Uh, and then, yeah, so he got the food, and then ate for a bit, well, he ate, talked for a bit, and then it just seemed like he was kind of like, the, the way I was kind of entranced for a second into almost doing that, it felt like that person was, um, projecting that energy but it was coming from a place of that person trying to pull something from me and I don't know if it was energetic or if it was like information but it felt like that I mean I guess it's tied to that spiritual starvation aspect because we're literally talking about food <laughs> and uh, not eating and stuff like that but it felt like the person didn't really know what to do um, in regards to how they're moving and progressing forward. So it almost felt like if I ate the food, I would give them the information on what they needed to do to move forward. But it was like, why is in your own spirit or whatever telling you how, how to move forward? It's almost like 
is someone's arrested and then a cop tries to give them the donuts or whatever and then, then they start speaking based off of them eating the food i don't know it was something like that even though it was like i would buy my own food and stuff like that it just felt like that that's what it felt like so it was like it kind of broke the little trance real quick but by being in it i was able to kind of pick up the energy um it was only for like a second it was almost just like i almost decided to eat but it was by being in it for a second i kind of picked up what was coming from the other person so i was like okay that was strange and then um, yeah, and then he he left and went with my family. My family, uh, I think, went and linked up with my family member or whatever because he was late for whatever they were doing. And then they went and did whatever they did. And I just was like, yeah, I'm not coming with you guys. <laughs> I just decided to go do something else. So I went and did something else. And uh, this is where we get into Dream 2. Um, let me run through them real quick. So that one... Yeah, so, yeah, this one is kind of where it got interesting, so, <laughs> um, I'm gonna skip a lot of stuff, because it was pretty intense and very long, but, um, so I'm gonna skip a lot of stuff and just get to the point of things that happened, but there was some kind of underground base, and I didn't really know where we were at all in this situation, because it was underground, and... Um, originally I think I was like by myself or with like one or two other people or something like that and but for the most part I was with like one person and by myself then um, I ended up we ended up kind of being in a group of like four or five people and in that group so in that underground area what was happening was there was like a like meccas and stuff like that you know like uh meccas is in like robotic type of like armored weaponry um like a gundam or like a transformer or like a like pacific rim robot or like a um the ones you see in avatar when they when the like they operate those like when they're when they go and fight the the navi at the end of the movie and stuff like that like the the things that the people the humans are inside of that they're operating to fight them not even like the ships but like the humanoid robot thing and then you know like mechas and shit like that so if you don't know what that is just look it up but um but they weren't like gundam type mechas they were kind of like uh kind of like like the one you see in avatar so in Gundam you have the mobile worker, so they're more like the mobile worker type of mechas. But um, so they weren't like mecha mechas. They weren't. They weren't like. Uh, they weren't like seriously intense. They, I mean, they're kind of intense, but they weren't seriously intense. Intense ones. They were um. Like I said, like the mobile workers or like the uh the one you see in Avatar. Um, but it was like a whole base where they built mechas. Um, I had a feeling it was Russia again <laughs> to be honest I had a feeling it was Russia again but we'll get to that after so we end up getting to this location where we're supposed to basically destroy it's kind of like some Death Star type of thing where you like shoot the spot and then it just blows up the whole Death Star it was something like that where it, I don't know if it was like a reactor or like a like an energy source place or something, I don't know. But if you blew that thing up, it would basically cause a giant chain reaction of explosions and stuff like that. So, um, it's some kind of energy source. But it was like, by destroying that, it would destroy pretty much everything going on down there. So, when we got there, one of the people we were with that I didn't really like start out with, he kind of just was there and we end up meeting there. Um, that person ended up kind of being like a, I don't know if I want to say like an enemy, but he was kind of doing his own thing. He, he tried to stop what was happening and tried to 
I don't know. He was just trying to stop us from destroying that shit. And it was just real strange. He gave like a whole villain. Well, not really a villain, but he gave like a whole monologue of, <laughs> of why he did what he did. It was pretty straight. It was pretty actually direct. And it was just like a, it was a, like a literal monologue. Um, but yeah, it was just long story short, it was some bullshit. It was, it was really just because he wanted more power for himself. That was really all it was. He had no care about what these, um, I don't know, had no, the person had no care about the actual effect that would happen if we didn't do what we were supposed to do. He was more so just cared about, like, a potential bag or whatever it was that he was going to get from doing whatever he did, but it was just, like, some power trip. Well, not even power trip, it was some, like, promise of power or something like that. I don't know. Dude was getting led on, though. It was some bullshit anyway, so... I don't know, we still handled the situation, handled dude, and, um, left. And then, um, yeah, blew that shit up. And then, or that shit blew up, at least. And then, um, I won't say we blew up, but, like, the shit blew up. We left, and then we were all kind of, like, I, I don't know, we just all went our own ways or whatever. But when... I came up to the surface, I was walking around, it was like an Asiatic looking area, well actually, I shouldn't say that, it was like a multicultural area, it was like I was in a place that had like a Chinatown type of thing, but it definitely wasn't, it wasn't Chinatown in my city, I can tell you that, because I know what Chinatown in my city looks like, this was a different place altogether, and I'm Pretty sure, again, it was Russia. I'm <laughs> pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I ended up walking. And... So, that was... So, you know, first dream was the food one. Like, they're all kind of interlinked, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're all kind of one thing. But that was, like, the first dream, the food one. Then the second one was the mecha destruction underground base type one. And then number three was, I don't know, Chinatown, called Chinatown. This one seems kind of ridiculous, but I was just walking. I was trying to find a way to get where I was going. Because I was trying to go somewhere. Like, I knew how to get, I knew where I was trying to go. Like, I could see it. But the way it was set up was weird. Like, um... The buildings had like multiple stories to them and then sometimes there was bridges connecting certain buildings together and stuff like that like plus 15s or like uh little bridges just that connect different like uh high-rise buildings and stuff like that together but this was the type that the stores were on the the stores had like balconies and stuff like that and then the balconies were connected to other buildings but if you walk, but to go from like one building to another, so the place I was trying to go to go from one, I had to go go from one building to another, and I had to go inside of this restaurant, and then like that opened up to the balcony that had the bridge connecting to the other building, and then once I got to that other building, it, it led to like a like a like a walkway, which went on the outside of a building that led to a. It was almost like you were on the streets again, but it was up in the air, um, like high floor, like uh, several floors up. So, um, yeah, it was almost like another floor of, it was like, it was like as wide, you know, if you're on, on the ground level and it's like really wide, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're in a building, it's usually narrow based off of how wide the walkways and how, you know what I mean? Like wide the hallways and stuff like that are. But if you're on a street, you know, it was, like, pretty wide. And it was, if you're in a park, it's obviously pretty wide. It was like that. But it was up in the air. It was strange. So I guess it was some kind of um, central point between, I guess, Chinatown and 
but it wasn't just China. It was like a lot of Asian stuff in general. It was like um, multicultural there, but multi Asian cultural. But this central point, which had like a lot of stuff, it was it was um, a very open space, but it was in the air. <laughs> it was uh, connecting with different walkways that would take you to different areas and it, it, at this point it wasn't like Chinatown or whatever that was it was um it would lead you to other places so that 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 was where I needed to go because I need to go through this one walkway to get to where I need to go so before I got there there was a guy who stopped me and just wanted to talk to me about a bunch of random stuff he was trying to he was making sales on people but then he just tried to uh like he was trying to he was trying to basically get people to go to this restaurant or whatever. I don't know. But I'm like, he when he saw me, he didn't even talk to me about any of that type of stuff. He talked to me like he knew me already. He put down his sign or I don't know whatever he, his samples, whatever he had, and he just started talking to me about some other stuff. So, um, I wasn't really saying anything. The dude was talking about a lot of stuff. He was talking about gaming for whatever reason. He talked about like Dota. If you know Dota, that game, like, I never played it, but I just know what it is. Uh, he talked about Destiny, and then he talked about, like, like the game Destiny. And he started talking about some other mechas and stuff. Like, he was talking about certain stuff, and I'm just looking at him like, I got somewhere to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just kind of let him talk for a second, but I'm like, I got somewhere to be, man. So I just ended up leaving after he talked for, like, five, ten minutes straight. I literally didn't say anything. He was just talking. And... The fact that he brought up mechas and all this type of stuff, I was like, okay. So it was a little highly specific to five minutes ago. Um, so I I leave. So I'm I'm in my mind as I'm going to the next like to the spot I'm trying to go to. Cause I'm like, oh, I gotta go. I like told him like I gotta go meet with people or something like that was like the only information I gave him I was like I was gotta go meet with family or something like I said something like that which I'm pretty sure is kind of what I was actually doing but um or planning on doing at the time so now as I'm walking uh, I'm like okay so this is definitely the above ground location of where ever I was underground and <laughs> it did to me i don't know why i keep getting this vibe of russia now let me mention this in the real world or in 3d world random people have just been continuously talking to me about russia and communism and just like random stuff like random people just outside just random people multiple different people same time spans like it could be in the same hour or two hours just random people talking to me about like just not Russia as in like uh, what's happening there. They're just talking about Russia and Russian philosophy and stuff like like uh, communist philosophy and then and Russian poli like just random stuff and not even about what's going on right now. Like I'm not paying attention to any of that, but just random stuff about it. So I'm just like, why do people keep talking about Russia to me? Um, yeah, it's been like a solid three, four people. Like I can go out for like two hours go outside and it'll just be like three four people come talk to me about I'm just like, where the, where are you coming from and why are you even might be like one person I actually kind of know kind of not really but like a like, like kind of know that person but the rest I just don't even know them it's just so strange um I mean to me this stuff isn't really strange anymore but it's just it's, I don't know it's just random like there's a random person walking up to you in the street coming to talk to you about that type of information it's, Weird. So, um, yeah, people in my city don't know I do YouTube and stuff like that. So, like, it wouldn't be just someone watching this and then coming and talk, like, some random people. I mean, it's just, it's so out of the blue random. Even one person, like, tried to threaten me not long ago. Like, really, really threaten me walked up to me and threatened me it was just so super rad but um dude was talking about russians <laughs> he just started randomly talking about russians and stuff like that <laughs> so, like, what the fuck? so anyways 
back to this. So, um, so I go down the walkway and then I go to where I'm supposed to go. Now, a whole nother dream happens. It's not really relevant. I'm going to skip that one. Um, and then after that, let's just say there was some kind of, uh, like event happening, um, like a celebration or like a, that's a good way to word it. It was like some kind of just event that happened. Um, like a ceremony or something like that. Um, like a wedding. It wasn't a wedding, but it like, you know, like a ceremony, not like some ritualistic shit. Like I just mean like, like a wedding or like a, like something like that. It was like some kind of event that happened. And then I left, um, cause that was a strange one, but now we have an app, there's like an after party or something like that. And I don't know. I was just kind of chilling. I'm like, I was just, yeah, I was just chilling on the couch or something like that. And I'm not really doing much cause I don't really drink or smoke or anything like that. And people were just, I don't know, talking and stuff. And I wasn't really, um, I was just kind of in my own world. And yeah, I just had a few people kind of trying to get close. Well, yeah, a few women stuff just trying to get close to me and all that. And end up, uh, getting me to, trying to get me to smoke. I don't think I actually smoke, but I ended up kind of rolling for people and I don't know, just a few, like just rolled a couple, I, I was doing weird shit. I was like, like unrolled a joint and like packed it into like a pipe or something like that for someone else. And then ended up taking it out of the pipe and then re-rolling a different joint. I was like, I don't know, I was doing weird shit. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like once I re like once I did that one time, cause it was really quick. It went from me just kind of me observing the whole area and just seeing what was going on here and why I was in this location to a lot of people around me. Um, well, mainly women, it was a lot of women around me. And then, and then real quick, like I rolled a joint and then I rolled another one, but then I unrolled it and I packed it and then re-rolled it. And I was like, okay, what am I doing? Like, I just realized immediately, like, what am I doing? And it seemed, again, it seemed like some entrancing type of shit. So once I peep game on that, um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people were pretty high at this point. So they kind of, I don't know, just started doing some other shit. <laughs> um, I was, again, just observing now what was going on, being real observant what was going on. And there was one person who just stayed with me. And... Now that I think about it, that person, pretty positive, is somewhere from that area as well. I don't think they're Russian, but they're somewhere from that USSR area of some kind. I don't know. But I didn't say a word to the person. Like, I don't even think we spoke. It was just, the person was just around me. So, uh, yeah, so it was just like some kind of after party. And then after everybody was uh, now kind of lit, minus me, I'm just observing it, but I'm, pretend, um, well, not really pretending, but I'm just kind of blending in and shit. Um, yeah, people just kind of more started having fun again. And it just reminded me of the whole other two dreams I mentioned with people not having fun and then having fun after just certain things happen so if you watch the hybrid and the um collapsing timeline video where i talk about those dreams too so-called dreams they those party situations just kind of remind me of each other so now i'm gonna talk about some of them um so that that's that so that was basically the end of that there wasn't really anything that happened i just realized i was like okay i'm kind of um, 
bored, to be honest. I just kind of left. I just, I just decided to wake up because I didn't really care to, um, well, I don't know actually if I woke up. I thought, well, I woke up and I went and did some, but then I went back and had other dreams that were completely unrelated to that, but like entirely, entirely unrelated. Um, so one, one thing is the common similarity with these three in all three videos, uh, with the partying thing and then how people are kind of just dull and bored. And then, then all of a sudden they just turn up, <laughs> um, after my, for the most part, for the most part, energy gets, uh, somewhat in the area and kind of settles for a second, even if I'm completely in a different space <laughs> where I'm just like observing or something like that, then, um, then including the plastic video and all four of these videos, how like the government facilities and like the underground stuff or, um, yeah, just all that type of stuff going on. Um, I've had a lot of, I've seen a lot of shit underground, but and underwater and in mountains. I don't know, just a bunch of stuff going on. But these are just the ones I'm sharing. So, because they all seem like they have to do with the same group of individuals. Now, the one common thing is it seems like a lot of their shit is getting shut down secrets are getting exposed and when that happens these par parties seem like rituals to try to gain energy to just like because Remember in last in the first three the, the mecca dream I just mentioned the second one after the food one how I said um, you have to blow up the energy source and then it just kind of like caused a chain reaction of explosions all that type of shit it seemed like after their that that got ha after that happened it seemed like these rituals to were to almost create another new because those were destroyed so it was like after maybe creating a new energy source or deposit or whatever, it seemed like these rituals were to like uh, charge up that new energy source to try to restart operations of whatever they're doing. Because all of all of these dreams that I've mentioned um, for these four videos from that, that you know I mentioned um, the plastic, the hybrid, collapsing timeline, and this video. All of them with these underground bases, first of all, are tied to certain groups of beings like tall whites, Nordics, Palladians, fake ass Palladians, um, and reptilians, I guess now too. Um, and then hybrids as well, obviously from the hybrid video, but all of them seem like military applications. Well, not even seem like, all of them are military applications of um, weaponry. So all of these different things are different projects of military. All these underground projects are basically military projects for advanced warfare. Um, oh, that's another good way to describe it. The mechas kind of reminded me of space marines from um, stuff that you'd see in Warhammer 40k. That's another good way to describe it if you haven't seen that. So those type of realm of fantasy um and rpg type games as well uh yeah so call it orc orc or ogre technology or something i don't know so some world of warcraft advanced technology but i don't know there's different games and shit because like, it's just reminding me of a lot of different games but um, 
but yeah all of these un that's another commonalities all these underground bases seem like they were just doing military research for um either organic or inorganic types of forms of weaponry and all of them are getting shut down and on top of that on top of all of them getting shut down um they all did certain types of rituals to try to recoup energy like the plastic video how or the hybrid video how is that like a soccer game or whatever and they're using the energy for that for military weaponry um to like power whatever whatever their fucking power go watch the hybrid video but it seemed like the the soccer match or whatever it was was to power that um yeah there was something in the plastic one too um Uh, that was a while ago, but if you watch the plastic video, I probably mentioned some kind of event or whatever, something happening. Then, um, the collapsing timeline video, uh, what did I talk about in that one? Yeah, there was some kind of there was a lot of, there was actually a lot of stuff going on in that collapsing timeline video. But there was a lot of, again, there was some kind of like ceremony event and then a party. And those were used to, and like an after party, and those were all used to basically drain energy for these military um, factory, laboratory power grid like the power grids for these things the power sources and then in this one like i said i skipped one of the dreams which was a large scale ceremony um and then it was an after party and it seemed like again those were to recoup energy um to try to restart operations for whatever they were doing now what the first dream that i had about the food thing where i wasn't gonna eat but the person was trying to eat and then like the entrancing aspect and all that type of shit um into eating <laughs> but um and it wasn't like even it was again vegan food but it was on kind of unhealthy um vegan because there's like unhealthy vegan food for sure again i'm more on the alkaline breath area and like i'm more in that world but um yeah so it was pretty it was kind of unhealthy but too much oil and shit like that so um and like bad not even good oil and stuff but um and just like processed shit and just, yeah it's not good stuff so but it's still vegan technically it wasn't terrible but it wasn't like gonna have a it would have more of a bad effect than good effect, I would say, on me. Um, which for me just takes away from even trying to enjoy it. Like it just, because I can feel how it's affecting me pretty quickly, even without thinking about what's inside of it. Even if I don't know what's in it, I could just, my body, just the way it kind of reacts to it, um, it gets rid of the bullshit right away. But it just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel good. So. So like I am transmuting it, just doesn't feel I just don't I mean just rather not. Then that dream what it kinda reminded me of with also the people in 3D actually talking to me about just all this random stuff that they've been talking to me about. Um is kind of telling me that there's a lot of beings that are part of whatever's going on that don't necessarily want to be a part of what's going on but then they also are kind of um they've kind of sold their soul to an extent for lack of better words like they're kind of soulless to an extent so it's almost like they're trying to regain whatever connection they have to whatever spirit they have within them but then 
they have, but then their agenda is probably a bigger pull than their spirit. So then when my energy comes around them, it probably activates a little bit of that actual like spiritual side, which makes them kind of lean towards the other way, like away from their agenda. So it's like they're kind of like a, it's like my energy is kind of like healing them just being around me. And then it makes their, it kind of like short circuits their orders, if that makes sense. Um, but there's a lot of craziness going on within them at the same time. So you can't really, you don't really know what they're going to do. <laughs> and then on top of that, um, so they also give up information and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, on top of that, they just like are very depressed and, um, have a very bleak outlook on the future because of the repercussions of the stuff that they're basically partaking in even if they're on a very low level or whatever level they're in except for the except for the person who tried to stop us blowing up that shit because I, I don't think that like that person had a whole monologue and shit that was different <laughs> not that person but every everybody else i'm talking about um him to an extent but like he only gave us the monologue because I don't know, it was just, <laughs> that, that was a little bit different, but, um, he only, yeah, yeah, that was a little different, <sighs> so, yeah, then, um, so there's the link between the, all the underground stuff, the link between the, um, it's a certain group of beings doing this type of stuff. It's not just one group being. It's not just these fake ass planes or it's a group of them. Um, fake ass galactic federation bullshit. <laughs> but then um, on top of that, so there's the underground aspect, military, basically these are the commonalities I've noticed. So underground military bases that are creating different that are experimenting on different types of weaponry for warfare for advanced warfare that's one commonality between all of them another one is okay another one is the group of beings doing this shit another one is the fact that they got all of these bases around they're either timed with major events that are happening that would be happening globally for the most part or major very large scale events that are happening in specific locations so like the bases are near those places or they're timed with events that are happening like something like christmas or halloween like things that are happening worldwide like uh um elections like shit like that and yeah so and then they're tapped they're tapping into like ley line grids and stuff like that to redirect energy and all that shit um for for the weapons and stuff like that so the ceremonial part the underground basis part and the different groups of beings well the the group the different beings um the, they're all like one group so those are three commonalities and the fourth one i want to mention is the whole asian thing so I don't know why Asians are like in these dreams and they're kind of like uh, neutral or something. They're kind of like neutral, but they're still involved, if that makes sense. So I don't know how they could really be neutral, but Because I know with the whole Asia and Mong Mongolia and like Russia, like there is connections through all of that, but how should I put this? It's like 
they're aware of what's happening, but still partaking in what's happening, but partaking in a way where, um, it's like they're running into a burning building, but not trying to save people in the burning building. They're just running into it. it it's really, it's really weird. It's like, they're also being, it's almost like they're being used as like front men and for like cover, covering what's going on. To an extent, but at the same time, it's like they're running, they, they don't even, they could just not be involved, but they just run towards the fire for no reason. At least the Asian people that are involved in all this shit, like, uh, I don't know that I'm seeing. It makes no sense. It almost feels like there's a really deep underlying guilt that is causing them to do some like what's that shit called like you know when the samurai like kills himself type of thing like the senpoku whatever it's called i don't remember what it's called but maybe i'm right senpoku or i don't know the um it's almost like yeah it's almost like some weird guilt underlying guilt which i don't even know if it, it's not even a guilt from them doing some dirt shit it's more like a guilt from them not doing the right thing is causing like a like a, a short circuiting suicidal um, reaction. I don't know. That's just what I've observed from it. Like, not like I hope no one does some shit like that. Or, like some suicidal type behaviors. Um, I don't mean suicidal in the sense of like someone actually killing themselves, but more so in the sense of someone um, putting themselves in a fucked up situation so that it's like a, you know, like suicide by cop type of thing, like that type of thing. Um, yeah, I don't know, that, that one's strange, the whole Asian connection with it is just like strange i i really think it's like a guilt from not doing the right thing you know like i think that's really the the overall vibe i've picked up from all of that the overall energy i've picked up from that at least well not the vibe but yeah the energy i've picked up from that the vibe is strange um and not only just not doing the right thing i think it's just not being strong enough or not having a willpower strong enough to do the right thing because it's not that they don't have the power to go against what's going on but it's more like a like a willpower courage type of thing to do the to do the right thing um yeah and then there's some other little things here and there that are also connected like uh basically wanting to be like some kind of culture vulturing type of thing there's like some guilt with that too because they um yeah i don't know they'll no, just leave it like that there's just well actually there's like a <laughs> there's like a wanting to be the face of something that they're not but then not stopping the the bullshit that's going on and then allowing it to and then using little things like the momentum of what's going on to try to push the being like the push push little things like being the face of things that does not actually originate with them and then even if they have the power or some power from the things that they're uh, running about, they're not using that in the honorable way that is usually boasted within these groups. So there's just like a guilt from that too, if that makes sense. So to be clear, it'd be like, <laughs> it'd be like, uh, it'd be like being really proud of a 
culture and a way of life. And then when you get tested for that way of life, you don't act in it. And then it was like, you just wanted the benefits of that way of life, but not actually to live that way of life. But then the guilt pushes them to like self-destruct is pretty much what I've been getting off of that. It's kind of sad to see, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's what I've seen from that. It's just like a, I mean, I feel like the way to deal with that would just to be to do the right thing and then not self-destruct <laughs> to be straightforward because I think that's the cowardly way to deal with the situation to just kind of self-destruct instead of just confronting and confronting the, the problem. But yeah, that's um, I think it's like a crippling fear, which doesn't make sense because of the, the actual power that exists within within some of those groups so yeah i don't know that's that's just what i took from that so that's the other commonality of notice is like the the self-destructing um asian really asian relationship with with the situation so to go through it is like a group of beings it's like the same beings but they have different uh, they're doing like different operations, but it's for the most part for one purpose. So group of beings, probably fake ass galactic federation, probably them, but, um, so some of the beings would be like Palladians, fake ass Palladians, um, these reptilians, these, uh, Nordics, these tall whites, these, uh, some Arcturians, as far as I know, some, I don't, I don't really know too much about, I can't really but yeah, um, and when I say reptilians, it's heavily, a lot of them are like these bird reptilian beings too. Um, yeah. And what other beings? I'll just leave it at those beings for now, but yeah, those ones, mainly those fake ass Pleiadians, Nordics and tall whites, um, And the, oh yeah, Insectilians, I forgot about them. Yeah, them too. Um, but yeah, mainly the ones, yeah, so then Reptilians and um, somewhat Arcturians, I think. So I think they have higher positions usually. So the group of beings is one commonality I've been seeing in all these things. The underground, the dumbs, the deep underground military bases. that are creating weapon like advanced weaponry and losing very badly <laughs> i may add um yeah so all of their these military bases and shit for the most part all of them getting shut down or even if they don't get shut down by another group of beings they're just like destroying themselves it's like the things that are creating are just killing them and shit like so it's like some stuff like that so group of beings the bases the 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 events that they're have that they're aligning themselves with to to either get more energy for whatever they're working on or to replenish to try to restart the operations of things that have already been destroyed um which is a huge part of the giant deficit that is here which is a huge part of why they're even like what why, why they're um yeah, <laughs> the deficit leads to a lot of stuff, so back to the starvation shit, but anyways, then, um, the Asian connection with all, with all of that, too, which just kind of seems random, but it's part of it, too, so it's causing, like, a weird self-destruction among them, and like I said, when I, um, when I was in, like, the dream that I mentioned this morning, it was, like, multicultural, too, so it's not just china or you know what i'm saying it's it's like a self-destruction among them all so uh well among among uh among f factions of them all i should say factions within all of them um the different the different countries and stuff like that and nations or whatever um yeah so those are the four commonalities 
And one thing I also wanted to mention was in the collapsing timeline one where I was talking about being in the Kremlin, like a building in the Kremlin. I don't know. Like, I thought the Kremlin was a building. I just looked up what the Kremlin was. But I didn't know until after. Like, I heard that word in the dream. I didn't even know what that was. So I looked it up. Um, it kind of is like the White House for Russia, but it was it's more like a like a Vatican. It's more like a, a group of buildings and stuff. Like, it's like a little city type of thing. It's not really just like one building. It's like a complex. So it was definitely a building there. And I looked at it and... I guess a lot of it's very red. That is what it was. Like, I've never seen it before. That is what it was. Um, so it was a building there. And like I said, it looked like a sacrifice was happening with all the black people partying or carbon pe people, you know, partying and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, I think when I said, when I said the carbonated and some of the Asians too, but the carbonated people that were partying... <clears throat> And they were on like that red carpet and all that type of like red um it wasn't like a carpet but it was like a it was like a floor but it was like a cross pattern i don't know um but they were on some kind of red flooring red tapestry whatever and um i think that was connecting to moors so that was one thing i forgot about so i think it was connecting to basically sacrificing a lot of the moorish energy um, because we saw in coming to America too how the Moors got into Zamunda, and it's kind of annoying because that also ties into a lot of stuff that's going on right now. Um, so they're getting kicked out of Zamunda, is the way I'm putting it. They're getting kicked out of Zamunda, <laughs> and um, well, they've been they've been getting kicked out of Zamunda, and it's causing a lot of destabilization among like these moors are starting to get their karma is the best way i can put it internationally not just in america like internationally the people in the boule and like all that shit so they're they're getting they're getting their karma they're starting to get a little bit of their karma and they can't handle it and on top of that it's uh while that's happening they're also so that's that's with them dealing with us but on top of that, like other carbonate, them dealing with other carbonated people, they're getting karma and shit from how they have basically separated themselves and just a bunch of stuff. But on top of that, they're also kind of getting sacrificed for energy and cannibalized for energy too. So it's like they're getting hit on multiple fronts right now and it's causing them to be real unstable and react really bad. Um, yeah. So with saying all of that and with a lot of things happening right now in the physical one piece of advice i'm going to give is or just information you can use it however you want it's just like from what i've observed while things are shifting more and more whether or not people want it to happen, dimensions are merging more and more, and that's also astral and physical and all that. And because of that, in the physical, a lot of people's astral senses are being turned on. But the issue, and like psychic senses and stuff like that, but the, one of the main issues is because people are like um, doing the things they're doing and behaving the way they're behaving, like the, the mind, like the partying, if you've ever been to any parties and certain shit going on now, it's not really even fun anymore. It's kind of, uh, it's, there's like, it's all dead. It looks all drained and shit like that. Like, it's really the social, I don't know, it's all just drained and dead. It's crazy. Um, and then people are doing more extreme rituals in the open because they're just drained of energy. So, what I've observed is, because of the merging and all the shit that's happening and people's psychic senses being turned on, people are acting as walk-ins. There's a lot of walk-ins and zombies and stuff like that happening, uh, going on. And I've mentioned this before in the spiritual starvation and certain thing, other videos too. I've mentioned this, but um, what I've gathered from it, like my little... advice if I want to call it that is just to kind of 
keep your energy up and you really won't see a lot of that and when you interact with it your energy will just squash that shit but just kind of realize that people are tweaking and you ever you know when people get you know when you get like a download and you get information all that type of stuff it could be kind of if you're not really grounded you can be it could be it could feel kind of unstable like you got a lot of racing thoughts your energy is really high your blood pressure like you know what i mean like you're you're like really like like vibrating <laughs> like you know what i'm saying um people are like that right now and they don't know how to ground it and they're reacting to the increasing of their energy and psychic levels and all that shit pretty badly and one reason one of the real big reasons you don't want to be eating meat is because of the whole reptilian rituals and reptilian um aspect of it i think a lot of people don't realize the spiritual aspect to it like the whole reptilian aspect with the drinking of blood and the eating of meat and like all that type of shit and like the cannibalism and like all that type of stuff um it connects people with energies astrally and spiritually to um and it's just not a good thing because when you start getting the connections between the spiritual and the physical and you start getting that 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 connection becomes more and more um potent and strong then if you're doing certain things you're going to be attracting certain entities and beings and it's making it easier for people to be walk-ins so just kind of be aware of that be aware of what um this is why there is a split and there's a reason to have a split because one of the reasons because um yeah people will be people everyone's going to be coming accountable for their choices and um not that they weren't before but it's like karma and um not only manifestation but karma and um all this type of stuff is ha having very quick effects on people in situations now and um because of that lessening of the gap and because of that it's causing um people who are doing fuckery to just be drained faster and faster and it's causing them to try to do more and more drastic stuff not to like put fear or anything like that out but it's just um like i said if your vibration's high like you're not even gonna be even if they try some shit it's not gonna touch you at all it's actually like <laughs> it's actually a lot less likely for this type of stuff to actually prevail <laughs> or work you know what i mean um yeah so it's really important to just have a very strong mind at the very least and block out a lot of bullshit um and on top of that just kind of be aware that people are um it doesn't even matter if they have a good job if they have a if they have um if they're succeeding in the certain things that they're succeeding in or getting money or whatever they're doing a lot of people are very empty right now they're very empty and they're just mindlessly just going going ham and they're just doing doing the things that they usually did for energy but they're doing it a lot harder and a lot faster to try to get more energy because they, they're not getting the same amount of energy they used to get from it before and it's burning them out even faster so it's like they're running on a hamster wheel faster and faster and as they go faster it's like their feet are starting to like turn to bones or some shit um it's crazy it's it's it's, it's actually pretty it's sad like i said before um it's actually kind of sad but um that's why it's important to kind of keep your vibration high and just keep practicing good things and then also realizing the effect that you're getting from the things that you're doing and then also De going deeper into the stuff you're doing and just continuously developing and another way of being thankful and grateful for the type of stuff that you that 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 works for you and that's actually helping you is by actually going into it further and developing it even further and um appreciating it by building on top of it you know i always say if you buy a car and you take it off the lot and it starts depreciating that's what depreciating is people always say i appreciate you i appreciate this i appreciate that but they're not actually building on the type of shit that you gave them and stuff like that. A lot of times, so you might give someone money and they're like, I appreciate it. And then they just go spend it on a bunch of bullshit. And like, if they use that and then somehow they got more money out of it, and that's an appreciation. Or if they got it and then it actually made like the energy that like, you don't have to get more money from it. But that, but even on top of that, if it, if what you used it on gave you 
energy to continuously to to do better shit like to go to go further like that's an appreciation but people are just they use that word very like loosely appreciation is a bit like it has to actually build on itself it has to build on itself not burn itself out like hamster and shit so um that's an important thing to kind of keep in mind if you're doing things that are healthy or good and it's having a good effect in your life and it's just to keep building on that and keep going further into that world um or opening up new worlds of better stuff so yeah um just peep game and be safe